We're Bea and Simo, and after six months of living in our 1989 van and reaching the Scottish Highlands, we now decided to completely renovate our van to a cabin home on wheels. In our last video, we started transforming an old cabinet into our future van kitchen. Today, this is what will happen. Oh my gosh. another new toy. <laughs> it's our birthday in a few days and this is our birthday gift actually and I never thought of being so happy receiving certain things for my birthday, for our birthday and we've never had one so this makes it extremely woodworkers, wood, woodworker. woodworkers woodbuilders, wood, wood everything. Nikki there's a little sack. What is this little sack? She's my, she's our helper. So we did this base, um, uh, this is actually the bottom of our closet, whatever this is, yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, well, you can try and see, we will have these two, It's this is one and that's another one, the sort of drawers we think we'll create, and on the back here there will be the water pipe that one over there that will pass so that's why we made that little thing and and yeah now we just need to um really smooth out and remove like these things and then painting it well yeah. it's not painting it it's actually putting something for the wood that gives a beautiful color that we decided for it so we first need to smooth it all and then try to adapt it by cutting some of the things. Oh my God, that's coming! <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah, this is all the segatura that we took up from the cuttings that we did with the wood. And instead of buying it, we have it homemade. Yeah, to do some little. <laughs> As you can see, see repairs mm -hmm. that are we think essentials when you're using like natural secondhand wood that you don't know how it's yeah the, the surface not completely flat plain, flat mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. I like it. It's kind of 
wobbly. I hope it's because of the yeah, the, the ground. Of the oh ground. my gosh. Here. Some beep scratches. Yeah. Because there was some some rocks on the floor, some and this was some... upside down. Down. So when we moved it, it just. Oh, this is something to learn. Always put something underneath. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it's also a little bit here, here. We will try and sand it a little bit. Maybe it goes away. Just a bit. We'll figure something out, I'm sure. But yeah, this is lesson learned. Ooh, this is the first time that we're doing something like this, like ever. Trying to build a piece of furniture, <laughs> starting from another furniture. So we'll yeah. see how it goes. After putting it in position, we created a template with the cardboard for the part that we need to cut to adapt. My initial idea was to cut all through the line here uh -huh. and then cut through here. I thought we could start here and then go all the way down. But if you're comfortable cutting it here, you can also do that. This is the most difficult part. You know, took the measurements to this part here is literally up until this point because we will position it where the wheel goes and so we need to adapt it. Should we start? There's no return point here. Wait, because it's so high, I'm going to take the glasses. Yeah, maybe I should step on something more high. Something higher. higher? Yeah. Oh, uh, you could. Ready. Okay, just under the line. Now it's the fun part. We need to put it on and see if all the measurements that we took were right. Can you imagine if they're not right? <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on either way. I was so afraid of doing this part. Now oh, it's done. There's Arthur that is keeping me. Timo, Timo. <laughs> okay. Right, 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 right. Okay. Jo. Quello. Un po' più in là. Con la pompa, perché non deve stare. Ok. Proprio no, ci sta poi quello che metteremo. Perfetto. Perfetto. Woohoo! That's perfect. Now that we don't need to cut it anymore, it's ready to be sanded and painted.
they have understand, I think. We started sending all of the cabinets. Because we got a new color, it's a water-based color and it really gives us the vibe of the sort of bar the borrow that we want to create. Just like a kind of Harry Potter, really dark and cozy cabin and so we started sending the parts that are visible, the parts that weren't that so beautiful to then put this color. We also have to make this part, Simo. Huh? This part here yeah. and the back part here just for support. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Nice job, love. Yeah. Really nice job. It's a mouse door. <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> so the reason we did this hole right now is because on the back we will have to put that one that is upside down that is part of the water pump. Yeah. And this will be sort of here. Doing it. I'm sorry, table. <laughs> okay, okay, no, you won't touch underneath, so you can just go. If you're just thinking about what we're doing, is that we're doing a sort of hole while Simo is trying to do a sort of hole to then put inside this one because this is too thick to. Well, there's no way otherwise this is going <laughs> in. some wood in my oh, okay. my finger no that that's not important but oh, okay. wow you did an amazing cut thank you it really wow <laughs> you don't even need to send it 
No, <laughs> just on top here a little bit. And I would also think in that because it's not straight, we could really work on removing all the upper part to make it sort of round oh, yes, here, yes, yeah, like so it. that it fits better. The well, we can use the sandener for this. Yeah. The new toy. Let's see. Ooh, ow! Amazing. You think? Yes. We've been away for like two or three weeks, I think. Yeah, I think so. Away from the van life build because the previous weeks have been like literally raining all day. It has been really cloudy, thunderstorms, and it has been a horrible so week. bad. Yes. And then we spent one entire week with uh, friends yep. doing funny things and place. working for new opportunities and projects that we have. And now with a t-shirt, we're finally back on the van build and with so many mosquitoes, like these ones I totally didn't miss them. Wait. You have one? Yeah, I had one. We will start now by coloring the... The door of the, of <laughs> the, the closet. closet. Yes. And one of them. We, we'll be using this one, that it's Imbregnante per legno, for the wood. It's see we found this one that it's a water based I think thing. It's a, it's a stainer. Yeah, that does not create like um um beep. Um Okay no. Well <laughs> you'll see now why we bought this and you will see what it does. A good explanation, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But it seems grey. Yeah, no. <gasps> wow. Okay, it's now not it's gray. chocolate. Oh wow. wow! Oh my gosh, I love it. <gasps> We give the first layer to all the pieces except for one that we first had to change something to adapt it under the sink. Then we gave the second hand to all the drawers and doors and gave the first hand to the structure. third and final hand, we sanded it down just a tiny bit, being careful to don't remove the color.
Tricks in the closet. Finally. Yeah. It is the... I, I, every time I say it's the most difficult thing that we're doing... For now. For now it's the most difficult thing to do. No, it's not the most difficult. It's the longest thing. Like, I never thought it would take so many weeks to just do this and cut it and painting it and do everything that it needed. finally attached it. It's it solid. is attached. It is attached. We finally did the pump that it's here. Also Let the pump is attached. It's not that beautiful to see but be but we attached this one so to uh, do a sort of soundproof. So Sound yeah, so let's hope that it doesn't vibrate too much when we use the water. Put it on. But it is attached. We did all the plumbings and that was the most difficult part also because while I was making a hole to fix this one on the floor, I did a hole also on a pipe. And so water yeah. started coming out. I will show you now. <laughs> The, the heart of the van, it's, it's done. Yes. It's put in. We just need to then put a last layer here on top so that it, it says it, it protects it from knives and scratches and heavy things. Water. And, exactly. And but we will do it once we do all of it, that we finish it so that then we put it all together. And, and yeah, it's in. So we can continue with other things for the build. From the next videos, we'll be doing so many things together. Floor, pull-out bed, walls. But one thing we really want to show you is our compost toilet. And we're pretty excited about that. See you there and thank you for watching until the end.